Hey guys, Maritza here. I wanted to make a little video, I guess another Maritza detransition journey video. Um, today I took my car. I had a little recall that needed to be checked. And while I was at it, I figured, let me have them test, you know, things because I'm going on the road in a few weeks, make sure it doesn't need any spark plugs or things of that nature. So, you know, I went there and the actual recall paper had the name Mark Angelo Cummings because, you know, it's had that recall now for a few months. So before I even, you know, had all the legal name change and stuff like that. So I was a, a teaching moment um, and also glorifying father, which I find that every time I tell a person about my story, that's a way to minister to them. And the guy who um, was the service guy, whatever, was all like smiling. and was like, oh, wow, that's great. I was a believer as well. Um, funny enough, the mechanic that worked on my car is also a believer. He goes to my church and goes, don't you recognize me? I didn't recognize him. He says, I, I shaved my beard. And I'm like, oh, okay. But he was being all flirty and all, you know, he even gave me some candy. I don't eat candy, but a, you know, little sweet tart thingies. And, and he was just like being so sweet. And it's like, wow. You know, I, I, I don't know. It, it's just like, it's amazing that prior I was, I was very standoffish to men. And now it's like, they're all being so nice to me and they're all being so sweet and gentle. And it's just, I never had that experience. I always feared men completely. And now that I'm, you know, I'm walking in the path that God has, has put me on this earth to walk. It, it is just amazing. And I went shopping afterwards. I needed to pick up a few things, you know, cause I'm, I'm leaving. I wanted to pick up a little thing to put my computer in like a bag that I could put my computer and my makeup and stuff when, you know, I'm carrying it along and I'm putting my groceries and stuff on, on the uh, little conveyor belt thing. And, and the guy was just like being, you know, he just grabs over and puts a little thing being like all attentive. All these men are being so attentive and it's like, wow, that that's, that's nice. That's nice. I'm, I'm really looking forward you know, to what lies ahead, to, to living life the way that it was meant to be lived. I was always so fearfully going against, against the current, you know, it's like swimming and it was, gosh, it gets tiring. It gets really tiring to go against God's will, against the flow of things. And when you're going with the flow, it's just amazing. It's, it's just so, so wonderful, you know, and it's, I can't express it enough. I am so looking forward to life now, you know, and the uh, interview I had this morning um, was an amazing interview. If you guys haven't watched it, please do um, with Jennifer. We create circumstances in our life based on our environment. We create scenarios in our head based on our environment. We create boogeymen and, and, you know, things that don't need to be there. We create scenarios that instead of helping us, harm us. We were born women. Those of us that were born women were born to be women for a reason. When we try to go against the grain, it doesn't work. You know, it really doesn't. And I know many of you are going to say, well, it doesn't work for you, but... <laughs> You don't seem to understand you're, you're not looking at the big picture. You're creating your coping mechanism based on your life that you're not even wanting to take responsibility. You're not even wanting to look at it. You're not giving yourself a full chance. There is a reason why you're living the way that you're living. There's something that happened and you may not want to bring light to it and you may not want to be aware because it's too painful. But there's a reason this morning's guest, her father, you know, kind of like pushing the boy thing and, you know, and the mother, um, she had trust issues with the mother. And, and again, I don't want to spoil it. Watch the interview and it really, really, I mean, this was like a really good interview. There was a lot of very important things touched upon that I highly suggest for those that are refusing to reflect and to be aware of things, this interview will help you dramatically. No one is born wrong. 
there's an amazing reason why you were born the way you were born. And, and if you push it away, you're only going to cause problems in the long run. Trust me. You know, a girl cannot be a boy and a boy cannot be a girl. A woman cannot be a man. A man cannot be a woman. That's just the way it is. And, and the struggle that you're going to put yourself through in attempts to do this is going to wear you out. And in the end, you're going to be exhausted and you're going to gain zero. Now that you're going to lose it all because most people end up losing everything, end up alone, end up sick. And not to mention what you do to your spirit. So I just wanted to make a little quick video and, and touch upon that, the, the, the amazing, I mean, I'm just like, wow, you know, like opening door, guys opening doors, doing the, all these little special little things that that's what a woman like me, you know, should be privy to. Instead, I was the one trying to open doors and I was the one trying, and it's like, no, that's not how it's done. That's going against the grain, that's going against the river. This feels right, this feels good. And I'm happy to be a woman. Thank you, Father. You know, thank you. And how, how, how irresponsible, how whatever I could, the name that I could call it, that I thought for one minute that I could be anything else but that. And that I, that I could have relationships with individuals that are not what Father wants. I was created to be with a man and a man was created to be with me. And that's the norm. Anything else is based on some sort of rejection, some sort of trauma, some sort of problem. If you dare and take the challenge to really look deep within you, instead of just being all, you know, defensive and, and, and angry. Another really good show that I did yesterday was talking about the root of homosexuality and transsexuality. It's all based on rejection. Rejection is the main root. If you take the time to really look within, you're going to see it, I promise you. But if you're going to get all defensive and angry and not want to see it and be all, you know, then of course not. But if you're willing to become aware and you're willing to want to heal, really heal, the answers are there for you. All right, guys, I love you, but remember to always love yourselves too. Bye-bye.